Hello viewers, I have been running a series of uh, video where I have talked about last year paper of MA in English entrance test and in this video too we are continuing that journey without any delay let's begin it. So the first question is which Shakespeare comedy is structured as a play within a play? So what is play within a play? If you don't know, then please go through it via Google or via YouTube. And the options are, number one, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Number two, Love's Labor's Lost. Number three, The Comedy of Errors. Number four, The Taming of the Shrew. Which one will be the correct one? The correct answer is A Midsummer's Night's Dream. Clear? Next question. Which of the following is a dead language? Which of the following is a dead language? Number one is saying gothic number two is saying frisian number three is saying yiddish number four is saying cantonese so which will be the correct one which is a dead language the correct answer is gothic gothic is a dead language next question which of the following fictional character is believed to be based on the 15th century real life character called Vlad the impeller so number one is saying victor frankenstein Number two is saying Peter Quint. Number three is saying Count Dracula. Number four is saying Prince Manfred. So, what will be the correct answer? Let me reveal it. The correct answer is Victor Frankenstein. It is, this fictional character is believed to be the real one. Next question. Which of the following terms describe a novel of fashionable high life in 19th century English literature? Let me repeat the question. Which of the following terms Describe a novel of fashionable high life in 19th century English literature. Options are brass spitten, number two, silver fork, number three, golden spoon, number four, diamond jar. The correct answer is brass spitten. Okay, next question. What term did Bartol Bratz use for his mode of drama writing to distinguish it from traditional theater? I think we all know about Bartol Bratz. So he uh, his way of writing is called uh in another way so we have to find out its uh term options are epic theater number two musical theater proletarian theater kitchen sink theater so which one will be the correct one answer is epic theater clear next question who among the following posits posits the tradition of great writers as an inexplicable fact and takes the ambivalent position of considering it as both a blessing and a curse let me repeat the question who among the following posit the tradition of great writers as an inescapable fact and takes the ambivalent position of considering it as both a blessing and a curse options are number one harold bloom number two t.s Eliot. number three alan Tate. number four fr levy so the correct answer is harold bloom next question who among the following is associated with a philosophy of praxis? Who among the following is associated with a philosophy of praxis? The options are, number one is saying, George Lucas. Number two, Raymond Williams. Number three, Stuart Hall. Number four, Antonio Gramsci. So, which is the correct answer? The correct answer is George Lucas. Next question. Which book by J.G. Ballard is about a virus that freezes anything it comes in contact with let me repeat the question which book by jg ballard is about a virus that freezes anything it comes in contact with the options are the drowned wall concrete island the crystal wall kingdom come answer is the drowned wall next question which of the following terms is used to describe spurious words which are the result of inadvertent errors made by copies printers and editors it is a very interesting thing. I think you should know about it. So let me repeat the question. Which of the following terms is used to describe spurious words which are the result of inadvertent errors made by copies, printers, and editors? The options are dude words, ghost words, proto words, pseudo words. The answer is, correct answer is dude words. Next question. Which of the following statements best articulates Franz France Fanon's political position. Number one is saying, colonialism will die a natural death since any violent struggle against it. Number uh, second is saying, okay, the 
let me not further read it. The correct answer is the number one. Colonialism will die a natural death since any violent struggle against it. Next question. Which of the following are books by Noam Chomsky? You all know about him. If you don't know, then please go to his biography and works. Noam Chomsky, uh, which of the following are his works? Number one is saying syn syntactic structures. Number B is saying verbal learning and verbal behavior. Number C is saying language and society. Number D is saying aspects of theory of syntax. Number E is saying the pragmatics of politeness. Here, the you have to choose the correct answers from the option given below. Now, A and C only, B and C only, C and E only, D and A only. So, correct answer is A and C only. That means Noam Chomsky has written syntactic structures and language in society. Next question. Which among the following are examples of Kunst, Kunstal Roman? Kunstal Roman. So, Kunstal Roman, it is a kind of genre of novel. So, I have already told you that you have to go, go through genres of novel, genres of drama, genres of poetry. So, I am here again reiterating it. I am repeating it. So, please do it. So, which among the following are examples of the Kunstal Roman? Options are A, The Portrait of a Lady. Now, number B, David Copperfield. Number C, Tom Jones. Number D, A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. Options are A and C only, B and D only, A and B only, C and D only. The correct answer is A and C only. That means the portrait of a lady and uh, number C maybe. Yes, C, Tom Jones. These are the example of Kunstel Roman. Numbers, uh, next number, which of the following are novels by David Lodz? David Lodz has re written which, which of the following novels? The questions is like that. The question is like that and the options are number one, A saying the British Museum is falling down. B, The Seven Sisters. Number C, Changing Places. Number D, Nice Work. Number E, Empire of the Sun. The correct options are A, B, and C only. B, D, E only. A, C, D only. C, D, E only. The correct answer is A, B, and C. That means uh, from, from A to C. The British Museum is Falling Down, The Seven Sisters, and Changing Places. These are the works written by, novel written by David Lodge. Okay. So that's it for today. Now let's talk uh, another thing in our under video. Bye-bye.